Welcome back to We're Reading Virtual Story Summertime Reading Program for the week of July 18th, 2021, Sea Animals. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish, written and illustrated by Jarrett J. Krasochka. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish were the best of friends. best of friends who spent their days exploring up, down, around, and through their grand ocean home. Unluckily for them though, they live near Krabby. You guys swim like humans, he would taunt as they slipped past. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish did their best to ignore the heckler. Did you hear something? asked Jellyfish. No, must be the current, said Peanut Butter. Krabby was relentless. You guys smell like rotten barnacles. P.U. I've seen sea snails swim with more style. My grandma called. She wants her run walk shoes back. What a bunch of bubbleheads. Jellyfish puffed up his chest and said, Driftwood and sea stones may break our bones, but words will never hurt us. You're an invertebrate. You don't even have any bones, huffed Krabby as he marched along his favorite rock by himself. One day, as Peanut Butter and Jellyfish set out on an excursion to the Great Reef, they swam past Krabby's perch. They braced themselves for the usual insults, but all was quiet. Then they heard the faint sound of sobbing up ahead. <laughs> it was Krabby. He was caught in a lobster trap and it was being lifted to the surface. <laughs> I'm scared, he cried. Surely he was doomed. Should we help? asked Jellyfish. The two friends shared a look. He is in serious trouble, said Peanut Butter. You're right, we have to help, exclaimed Jellyfish. But how? I have a plan, said Peanut Butter. Follow me. They swam up to the lobster trap. Peanut Butter used his tail to unlock the trap's gate, but Krabby didn't budge. Come on, you're free, said Peanut Butter. But, but, I can't swim, confessed Krabby, and I'm afraid of heights. The lobster trap was getting pulled closer to the surface. Plan B, exclaimed Jellyfish. He worked furiously on untying the trap's knot. Hurry, cried Peanut Butter. I can see the fishermen above. Just when all hope was lost. The knot gave out, sending the trap plummeting. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish grabbed a hold and lowered it to safety. Krabby's legs wobbled as he returned to his favorite rock. Th th thanks, you t, t too, he stuttered. You know, I'm sorry for saying those mean things, Krabby said. He may have been afraid of heights, but Krabby was brave enough to apologize. I guess I was jealous. You guys seem like you're always having so much fun exploring the open waters. Well, there's plenty to explore close to the ocean floor, said Jellyfish. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish still swam up, down, around, and through, but it was on the ocean floor that they found their greatest treasure. The end. Okay, so today we're gonna make a jellyfish um, sun catcher. What you'll have in your craft to go kit is a jellyfish template, which looks like this. Um, this is actually contact paper, we'll peel that off. Um, you'll have some rainbow squares of paper and those are about two inches square and you can cut them to any size you want. Um, you might want scissors. The scissors are good if you want to make these smaller um, or if your child gets it past the line here you can trim it at the end. And then you'll get um, 12 pieces of yarn, two of each color and rainbow colors. 
and those will be the tentacles. You can see there's holes punched at the bottom, so I'll show you how to put those on last. So the first thing we do for this, um, I already have a hanging string tied on here, um, so you'll have to rip it a little, but um, we'll take off the contact paper. So we just have this clear, this is the non-sticky side on this black, and on the white side it's sticky. And all we're going to do is go ahead and make a design. You can tear these up if you want. Some people like it better with like little rough edges. Um, you can make them small, big, doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to keep most of mine big. You can see it's going up. Um, so some of that might go over the edge and I might need to cut it. Um, you can do it in any pattern you want. Um, doesn't have to be a pattern. You just want to make sure, see how this, I didn't get all the, and I'm going to cut that a bit, just because it's up over the circle. Just remember, if you put them on really thick, um, you're not going to see through it as well when it's hanging up. So, um, you don't have to cut it as you go. I don't know why I'm doing this, um, but I am. I'm going to stop doing it. Um, but go ahead and just put these on, and we'll come back and I'll show you how to put the yarn on. Okay, you can see I've gone over a little bit, so I am going to cut some of these. Like I said, just wait till the end because, you know, get them all at once just cutting those off there and as you can see also I did get some covering the holes there what I'm gonna do is just use my hole punch that I used to make the original if you don't have a hole punch you can just trim it off with scissors but since I do happen to have the hole punch right here I'm gonna go ahead and see if that works That takes it right off. I was afraid the punch might not cut through the tissue because it's too soft and it would bend, but it worked. Okay, and oops, a couple more. See how it's bending up? Okay. It's a nice, simple craft, not too messy. Now what I'm going to do, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 folds and 12 yarns. And I'm just going to do mine in rainbow order. Um, it's really simple and you can get the kids to help. It's great fine motor again. Um, also good for teaching them how to make a little slip knot. So you'll have two down on each one and I'm gonna do rainbow then rainbow. I was gonna do two do it all the same but I decided to do a double. So again you fold it in half, stick the loop through the hole, up through it, pull it with your finger, then take the two ends, put it right through the loop and pull it tight. And we're gonna do that for all the colors. So there's our jellyfish in the sunlight. Um, it's on the door there. Um, you can see some of the tentacles are different sizes. You can trim those up if you'd like, or you can just leave them because in nature, all their tentacles would be different sizes. But that's it, that's our um, sun catcher jellyfish.